Okay, as a world-renowned sexpert, what do you think are the best toys for men, women, and couples? Well, I'm going to start with women. I think the best sex toys for women are ones that are not phallic. So I love sex toys that look like a lipstick, but they're really a vibrator. Things that are, you know, that are more mainstream and not too intimidating. So that's what I think for women. But then again, I also ask a lot of my female clients, you know, what kind of orgasms do you want? Do you want external nipple orgasms, clitoral, G-spot, anal orgasms? And then I can recommend specific toys custom made for them because every woman is different and you know we all have a very different sexual personality that actually changes depending what mood we're in and guys don't realize that so actually guys should buy a variety of sex toys for women for clitoral you know for um, the g-spot for the perineum you know the landing strip there are some great vibrators for that definitely for the nipples, and then definitely for the anus. A lot of women don't realize that you can actually reach the G-spot through anal penetration. Wow. So that, that is... That takes care of women, right. yeah. Now, and one thing I'd like to say about that, it's funny because I, I've been doing this for 20 years, and when I started, all the toys, it was very, you know, kind of sexy, naked women on the packaging, kind of... Uh, what you would expect when you say discreet, there wasn't discreet, wasn't even a category. When you go into some toy stores now, it looks more like an Apple store than what you would think of as the old porno store. And there's a lot of this sort of new genre, what you're talking about, as well as, you know, our just our vibrator section, I think it's 10,000 items because there is clitoral and G-spot and G-spot clitoral and you know and rabbits and small and big and thin and what and it's just there's such a variety and sometimes i think why are there so many items can't we get focused here but i think everybody has their own little uh, thing that they want absolutely and i mean even the g-spot vibrators they don't all look like a penis i mean there's one called i think it's just called the g vibrator it has like a fork, do you know which oh, one I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah I, that's really cool. Yeah. I mean, I think you could use that as an egg beater, actually. Yeah, that's one of the great things. You can, <laughs> you can cook and then after dinner use it. To... Yeah, just make sure you wash your toys with Sex Toy Cleaner yes. from sextoy.com. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, and what about so men? Men, okay, so I think that men should explore their prostate or at least. Get a sex toy that can stimulate the testicles and then I'm really big on the pleasure rings because you know I love that they can stretch to any size. A lot of men will look at these pleasure vibrating rings and they'll say, oh no I'm too big for that and I say no, 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 it stretches to like 10 times its size. So I like those because they can help keep a condom on. I like them because they can help make a man, you know, erect longer. And I really like them because they can enable a woman to have a clitoral orgasm while he's inside her. So I know it's sort of a couple's toy, but it's also good for guys. Well, when it comes to men's rings, yes. there are, that's another category where there are thousands. And like you said, there are these flexible ones that you can kind of go like this and put it up on your <laughs> well, head. Well, I don't know about this big. Well, but... you'd be surprised. There's the materials. There's other ones, though, that are made of metal. There's no stretching. There's ones that are, you know, adjustable with many different ways. There are ones that have the vibrator attached, so mm -hmm. when you use it with a woman. Uh, so there's a huge variety. Uh, yeah, and some of them have a vibrator underneath that yes. stimulates the guy's testicles. Because, you know, a lot of guys will complain to me, Dr. Ava, my lover ignores my testicles, you know. So do you agree that a lot of guys want to have stimulation? Yes. I'm yeah. curious why you say all guys should explore their prostate. Well, because it's another pleasure zone. It's like I think all women should explore their G-spot. It's not for everybody, but it's there. It's a treasure that needs to be found. But then, you know, you, you may not be orgasmic from it. And I tell women to explore their G-spot on their own. So then they can tell their partner, 
the directions on where to find it. I think guys should explore their prostate on their own and then enjoy it with a partner too. Mm. So I also think, you know, that both men and women should get a variety of sex toys and have mutual masturbation because that is so sexy and it educates each other on where they like to be touched, how they like to be touched, and what sex toys to buy from sextoy.com. Nice <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then what about couples toys? Well, let's be honest, the Wii Vibe is the pioneer of a couple's toy. It's the only toy that I know of that you can wear while you're making love, while you're having intercourse. Are there others now? I think there are you know, some copycats. Design, they're close with that design, so you, I mean, they have good protection on their design. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, they, they really, this Wii Vibe, they came out with this thing and they've really, you know, taken over that market. It's funny because there's, we, you know, like I mentioned, we sell tens of thousands of items on the site. So a lot of manufacturers have 2,000, 3,000 items that they manufacture. WeVibe has like five items. Mm -hmm. They're all the same oh, yeah. one that they've upgraded. And the sales that they do on their five items is the same as other companies that have 2,000 items. Right. And so it's really... Um, and, and when I give lectures all over the world, and I usually have some sex toys as gifts, the Wii Vibe is the one that everybody wants. When I say, okay, come on up and do some interactive exercises and then pick a sex toy, they all go for the Wii Vibe. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. It's definitely a good one. Any other couple suggestions? So a lot of my female clients are actually using Benoit balls during some BDSM play. When they get spanked by their partner, they are experiencing the most mind-blowing body melting orgasms. The only thing that I would say, you know, as a sexologist is to choose Benoit balls that have some kind of string so you can pull them out if you're a novice because they can get lost up there. Since it became so popular, we created uh, some resources on uh, Benoit balls, how to use them, how to, it turns out to release them actually the best way is to just stop stressing out about it and just relax because actually gravity they'll just fall that benoit balls we've had some kegel exercises on the site before 50 shades of gray it was kind of this obscure niche but after the movie mm -hmm. it's so it's two things it's one is this idea that it's a turn on it used to only be kind of for exercise or some mm -hmm, sort of mm -hmm. physical challenge uh now it's more of it's this it's a turn on it's a, a sexual fantasy and then it's also gotten people more aware of the what it, what are these kegel exercises that you do to strengthen your i mean both even men can do it as well but for women strengthening their vagina so that whole category went from obscure to kind of mainstream if one of your clients said told you that they want to introduce sex toys in their relationship how would you recommend they broach this subject? Well, I think the best way to introduce sex toys into a relationship is to do it together and to tell your partner, hey, I'd like to do this for both of us. I think this would be fun. Let's do it together. So let's go on the computer and look at sextoy.com and let's pick a sex toy for you, a sex toy for me, something that makes a fantasy that we have come to life. So you want it to be playful and not too serious. And you know, a, lo a lot of items, um, there's, there's a $5 version and then there's a $50 version. And you know, it's like almost the same thing except for possibly durability or the, 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 the packaging or who knows what. Don't, you don't have to spend a ton of money. Right. Uh, and try some things and then if you like it, you can upgrade. So Sextoy Dave, as an entrepreneur, what makes Sextoy.com different than any other sex toy online organization? What separates us from other sites, first of all, is breadth of products. Nobody has as many products as us, maybe by a factor of 10. We also spend a lot of time categorizing, attributing, making it so you, you know, there are ways that you can find whatever your particular niche, or whatever fetish you want to find that we have it. And then our prices are, you know, lower, often 50% lower than you'll find in other stores. Wow. Uh, and when it comes to service, we are there 24-7 with support reps. We sh often ship same day and we uh, guarantee satisfaction. 
Now, what kind of people go to sextoy.com to purchase toys? You know, the, the, our uh, sextoy.com is really, we try to be for everyone. You mm -hmm. know, uh, we have women, couples, men, something for everyone and make it whatever you're, whatever you're looking for, you can find it. Now, another part of my business is that we have, uh, we have an affiliate program where it's a really a white label program where you can get your own store and create your own brand. Now that's where we have people going and, and we even create some of our own with our own system where we target a specific niche. So you can have a gay site and you just focus on the gay products and mm -hmm, make it easy mm -hmm. just for that or just strap-ons or just, you know, because we have such a large database of products, we offer this system so that people can come and kind of create their own niche and market to it. It's just, it's such a big market and there are so many products that, you know, I've decided to keep my sex toy is something for everybody and allow other entrepreneurs who really may know a lot about a specific topic to focus on those. Yeah, I like that you have the variety on your website of, you know, very inexpensive toys all the way up to the luxury toys. So there really is something for everybody. And, you know, I think that toys are sort of like dessert. You don't have to have it all the time, but when you have it, it's really yummy. Excellent.